and welcome to today's weekly vlog. So it is currently Monday, November 18th and I'm in the Parc des Bastions in Geneva. So I'm gonna show you guys what a week in my life looks like here at the University of Geneva. Here we've got a pigeon, voila. Trop trop mignon. Uh, donc, uh, ouais. So this is just gonna be a week in my life and you guys are about to see kind of what I do. So this morning I had, I took a couple video clips but I didn't get a chance to talk. So basically this morning I woke up at like 7.30, I took a shower, I did my laundry, I cleaned the bathroom, I vacuumed my room and dusted my room. I kind of got all the cleaning stuff done, which is really nice. Um, and then after that I finished reading this book I have to do a compte rendu, a book report for, for my history class, one of my history classes, which is called L'Afrique depuis 1940. So good book if you're interested, it's called Africa since 1940. I think the title's a bit different in English, but anyway, it's like a, almost a 400 page book and I've been struggling to finish it uh, because it's quite long and I didn't start it with enough time in, in uh, mind. So yeah, I just finished that and I'm a little overwhelmed because I have to write the whole compte rendu, which is five to six pages but it's all gonna be good. I need to just finish up the notes I have on it and then I'm just gonna write because it's due on Thursday and it's currently Monday. So it's a process, but it's going to be fine. I just came outside because I needed to like clear my mind because if you're in the library too long, you start to get like a little bit, you know, locked into what you're doing and I was starting to feel like a, a little like, you know, like this. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm out here in the park. And after this, I'm gonna go over to Unimail, uh, which is the other but kind of the main university center and then i'm going to just work a little bit more on my comprendu and then after that i'm going to do my yoga lotties class which i'm super excited for i love it it always makes me feel so calm and happy so let's go so currently i'm just at like the side of bastion and they're doing preparations for the christmas market and in the main part of bastion you can see they're putting up all the main tents for the christmas market and it opens soon so i'm so excited honestly i'm just getting in such a christmas mood and yeah so that's making me excited just got back from my yogalotti's class or my leggings and my athletic shirt and well right here you can see all my decorations I put the decorations on the window so already for Christmas um, yeah but anyway 
I am going to go take a shower now. Probably wasn't the smartest idea to take a shower this morning because now I'm taking two showers in one day. So there's that. But otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower and then I am going to do some homework. Well, after I eat my dinner, T take a shower, eat my dinner, do some homework, then go to bed. So that's the plan for the night. It's a pretty typical Monday actually because I pretty much do homework all day on Mondays and go to yoga lotties and then come back and do some more homework to try to be like as productive as possible on the Monday and do all my cleaning and stuff too. So I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay, so I've got my tea and I just had some dinner. I did like a stir fry of some peppers and some zucchini and some beans and onion. So that was my dinner. Then I had some chocolate and now I'm just having some tea. I'm gonna read some essays for my English lecture tomorrow. And then after that, I'm gonna do some linguistics exercises and then work on my Comte for history. I have my linguistics seminar tomorrow and then my literature lecture and then a break and then my analysis of text, which is another seminar, or I guess travel pratique, which is how we call it here. So yeah, let's just, let's just do this. And then I'm actually gonna go get down and get my laundry before I go to bed, because as you can see, my bed has nothing on it. So yeah. <laughs> was yesterday just some cereal some banana some coffee it was pretty good so this is my outfit so i'm wearing just like a simple tank top and a necklace from forever 21 and then i've got these new jeans that i got from pull and bear in barcelona and i love them so much yeah so that is my outfit so the plan for today is i have class until four and then i'm going to just work on my book report my comfortable drew for history for the rest of the day, so that's the plan. Let's go. was so pretty at night. It's beautiful. So I'm just in front of Uni Bastion, um, well the Bibliothèque de Genève, and I'm going to go buy a veggie burger because I kind of want to eat a veggie burger for dinner. And I just did a good solid 45 minutes of work on my compte and I'm gonna go do that all evening. It is such a hard task to synthesize an entire 400 page book. It's really, really difficult. So we're gonna go do that. And I had a pretty good afternoon, some good classes, ate lunch with my friends and then went to the library. It's just so pretty out here. Look how beautiful this is. Wow.
they're setting up the Christmas market. Oh my gosh. to cope and I got some groceries so I'll show you guys those and I'm gonna go make my dinner now because I'm hungry and yeah then I'm gonna do some work but I want to eat first so here we go here are my groceries I started using these reusable bags for veggies which I got from Eagle and I really like them it makes me feel happy every time I use them because I know I'm not contributing another plastic bag although I forgot my other one so I only had two and then I got these for half price, so they're due by today, but I just thought they're really good. And since they're half price, I might as well try them. And then I also got this because it was 20% off with a coupon that they had with theirs. So, yeah. Avocados, bread, I'm all set. Yeah. It's doing pretty well. I think I put in a bit too much oil. There we go. And I just wanted to point out that I got these things from Ikea when I came to Switzerland. So, here these like things that cover your vegetables and I just wanted to say that they are so useful and although it looks kind of weird it's like I mean this is like a condom for your cucumber like seriously um but anyway they're actually so helpful and they save you a lot of plastic if you wanted to if you would normally put them in plastic bags and I mean you could put them in containers but I just find this really practical and useful so c'est très pratique problème pour la tenir du magasin et après j'étais à Barcelone et je voulais pas le lire donc ouais c'était juste les circonstances qui m'ont empêché de la lire mais la prochaine fois je vais commencer plus tôt je crois c'est une bonne idée ça
and had bread with peanut butter and jam and I have some tea again. I feel like I'm a big consumer of tea. I've got a page and a half left to write in my Comptoir I've, I've written four and a half pages, so I'm just gonna write until orchestra and go to orchestra. Wait. And the lady at the bakery asked me where I was from and you know, it was kind of nice because there was a stage in the past where people in stores would just not talk to me in French, but now, you know, they actually talk to me in French and like my accent and it's kind of cool. So I like to see that change between like not being understood and being understood, but people wondering where you're from. It's kind of cool. So I just submitted my comfortable dream and I'm officially dead. It's like almost 12 o'clock on Wednesday, no, Thursday. Time is passing so fast and yeah, I just submitted it on Moodle. So it's up there and I've got to print it. But um, yeah, I finished it. Six pages of synthesis and concise, well-ish worded sentences. I'm going to go eat and read this article that I have to read for my class today and then go to class. I have six hours of class this afternoon and I'm gonna be a little dead. I'm definitely gonna be a little dead, so let's do this. By the roadside, wait up for me, I'd go anywhere that you do. Put it all out in the open, now we don't have to control it. Put it all out in the open. If it's only for a moment, it's a lifetime. So it's been a long day. But I finished my comfort on June. Got through the day. Very tired, but I'm gonna go to the English film club and watch a movie. It's a lifetime of emotion. Put it all out in the open. shopping roads of Geneva, entre Bel Air and Mollard. So pretty. I'm gonna go walk by the lake. this boat stop called Molar, which is near the tram stop Molar, and you can take it across the lake to just over there at Paki and it's kind of nice you can see the jet d'eau and it's only three francs or if you have the bus pass then it's included so I really like doing that pretty fun if you're ever in Geneva I'm 
monument is for, but it's near the lake. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, sure, that makes sense in English. When this fountain is on, it's actually very pretty. Ouais, donc c'est ça, je mélange les mots en anglais français, je sais pas exactement ce que je fais, mais je suis super fatiguée en fait. Je suis morte, c'est ça. Donc je vais juste profiter du, du euh, météo. Crisp fall day, almost winter, then I'm gonna go home and watch the good place because it's the fall season four kind of finale, like the last one that comes out during the fall. And I love this show so much. I think you guys know that if you've watched some of my other videos, but the good place is like life. So j'adore, j'adore. And I hope you guys are doing well and that you're enjoying the vlog, even though I'm kind of worried that it's like super repetitive because I feel like I do the same thing every day. I take the same route to get to Bastion. Presque tous les jours. This is where we are. I've just been walking along here. Apparently, that was the Monument National, the Jardin Anglais, and we're there. So I've just been walking along the lake and I was over here earlier. This is the Parc des Bastions. So I just walked up and as I was talking about like Mollard is along here and you have Belair, Mollard. This is like a shopping road and yeah. I don't know what it is but something about the juxtaposition between the Jedo and this painting of a dead fish is very satisfying. <laughs> so here is what you've all been waiting for. The Jedo de Genève. Well, 140 meter maximum height. 200 kilometers an hour water velocity on exit, 500 liters per second, 1,000 kilowatts as the total power of both pumps. Look at these little birds enjoying the view. Salut! Il va partir, je suis sûr. Ok. Certain moments in your life feel more real than other moments. Like time is just such a weird concept and sometimes pa time passes slower and faster but objectively time is actually passing the exact same speed and like you know right now it's someone's birthday and they're probably like you know so happy and it's passing by so fast and then for me time is just kind of like in a nice calm space where it kind of passes by but kind of like feels like suspended and then there's other people where time is like really not working out for them right now and like you know they're writing an exam or they're stressing out and time is pressuring them and like all week time has been just such like a weird concept I'm gonna walk out on this talk um because like you have so much time pressure for like when you have to finish things for university and stuff like that um so like you feel like every moment counts but then other moments you can just like do what you want with them so yeah time is just weird and reality is so like inconsistent like 
I feel like the cold, crisp air is just making me feel like so alive. And I just like, I look around me and I feel like the luckiest person in the entire world. It is so beautiful here. And I just want to tell you, if you're stressed out, it's, it'll be okay. And also nobody does anything perfectly. Like seriously, this week has been such a mess, but yet it's also like so fun. And I don't know, I'm, it, like, I'm totally not on top of things right now, but that's totally fine. And wow, this view that I am seeing here right now, it's like, it's like pretty great. Let's go to the beach and then go to the park. And then I'm gonna take the bus back, I think. And I really wanna look more at vowels. This is like such a weird thing, but like we've been learning about phonetics in linguistics and it is blowing my mind right now that the vowel sounds in English and French are so different and how they don't go along with the letters at all. And like, it's honestly just blowing my mind. Why the heck do we not learn phonetics when we learn a language? Like all of the vowels, they're different. Like it, it's just crazy. Like you think that the pronunciation is the same. You have this like misunderstanding that like, since the letters are the same, that means that the pronunciation is the same. And that's why so many English people pronounce French as like, you know, il fait très beau, j'aime beaucoup la France et la Suisse. You know, that's why people talk like that because they're just using their English pronunciation, their English vowels and all those phonetics from the English language and they're just putting it in French where it doesn't actually fit and there's so many different vowel sounds and I'm actually really excited to like compare them and like say them out loud and try to like really know how to like write them down and stuff like that because it's just so cool and yeah, it's just blowing my mind. Why the heck do we not learn phonetics when we learn a language? Like, if I ever help anyone with the language, phonetics is something that is so cool and if you just look at like the the chart that has all the vowels and like if you just compare English and French they don't line up almost at all like you think because the vowels have the same letters that they're the same so let's go to the beach swimming over there he must be so dead wow the water must be so cold so I'm gonna do a little bit of Geneva tourism and visit Parc La Grange Ok, voilà. Donc moi je suis là. Et il me semble qu'il y a plusieurs choses à faire. Donc... Moi je vais juste marcher, je crois. Ouais. Ouais, je vais marcher par là, je pense. I would just like to point out that this is November and in Canada there is like, you know, half a foot of snow or whatever but like, I don't really feel in this weather so this tree is really weird we've got that and then there's like, you know just casually this palm tree here cool, nice very pretty so can this be my house? like can I move in here now? <laughs> this is giving me like Sound of Music vibes. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but it kind of is, or even like Cinderella. I don't know, but I'm really feeling this house. So I'm just sad in this really pretty park now. Yeah, and you kind of got a view of the lake over there. Let me see. Can you see that? Voila. And yeah, so I've got some, I've got an essay by Sigmund Freud that I'm going to read for my literature class now because I feel like reading literature in nature is like the most peaceful, calming thing ever. 
So, I can't believe this is my life, honestly. Reading Freud in Geneva. Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> Everything is organic here. Kind of cool. So, it is now evening. It's Friday evening. I got back from Les Ovives, come l'autre partie de Genève, a couple hours ago. And then I worked on linguistics for a couple hours, and it was just fascinating. Like, linguistics, it's so cool. And I was just looking up on my own, like, the difference between received pronunciation and general American pronunciation, because there's so many differences and I was just getting really confused because my own English is different from the ling English that we have to use in phonetics. So things like, like for me, the words caught and caught, like C-O-T and C-A-U-G-H-T are the same. But for RP, it's caught and caught, caught, caught. Anyway, there's a difference. There's a difference there. So I've, I've been looking into that. And then there's other things where it's like court and caught. But for RP, it's the same. It's caught and cold. So <laughs> I'm learning all those things and it just, it's blowing my mind, honestly. It's, it's just blowing my mind and it's so cool. And so um, later today I'm going to look up more of the French ones because the French vowels are all so different. I think I'm going to make a whole video about that, about just, you know, vowels and language learning and stuff like that. And that it might be something useful for you if you're learning a language to look into phonetics. I feel like, I feel like it's something really useful. So yeah, that's that's what I've been doing, and now I'm gonna settle into my annual, not annual, my weekly Friday night <laughs> ritual, which is relaxing in my bed with my laptop, with an episode of The Good Place, with some tea. I just bought this new chocolate tea by Yogi Tea from Bio C'est Bon, um, which is a an organic store here in Geneva, which I was recommended to to try out, so I went there, and I bought a couple things. And then I came back and I made a nice healthy dinner. And now I'm going to eat two of these speculose cookies, which, which are amazing, by the way. And then paprika chips, also amazing. We don't really have either of those in Canada. And this chocolate, which is like a blueberry orange or... I think it's orange. Or maybe blueberry. I don't remember, but it's like a fruit chocolate and it's quite good. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. You enjoy watching my week. I just did the school week because I'm going to edit it this weekend so that you guys can see what a week in my life looks like. I know parts of it are kind of repetitive, but honestly, this is what my week is like, and I love it here so much, and I fall into a really nice routine. I found so many really nice friends and such a supportive community here at the Université de Genève, so I'm really, really, really happy, and I hope that this video kind of shows you guys what my life is like because I know a lot of my friends and family want to know and if you're considering coming to study in Switzerland or abroad like you kind of probably want to know what's it like to live on your own what's it like to live in a different country so leave any video suggestions in the comments below I have a couple planned like a Canada versus Switzerland type videos I could even do a series of like different things like that or anyway if you have any series idea that would, that would be kind of cool too like a series of I don't know living on my own or thoughts or you know I, I have no idea but if you have a series that could be kind of cool this week was just really good overall and I just wanted to say I know this week this Comte Dieu has kind of just taken over my week because I left it a little bit to the end I mean the book didn't come into the bookstore for a while after I ordered it and then I went to Barcelona and so I started after Barcelona and then I had like two weeks to do the reading and writing it but honestly I'm really proud that I'm able to read a 400 page French book and then write a six page, you know, book report, summary, analysis type thing in French. Like, if you're learning a second language, you know the struggle of, you know, reading and writing fast can be difficult. And the fact that I've like gotten those abilities is just kind of mind blowing and it's, it's really cool. Yeah, there'll be words in French that I don't know. So I look up the definition and it's a word that I don't even know in English. So. My vocabulary in French is expanding, at least in historical concepts, beyond what I have in English. But um, in other contexts, like, I realize things to do with, like, food, things to do with the, the human body. There are so many terms that I don't know. Like, in some contexts, I understand perfectly everything that's happening. In other contexts, like, 
not really, you know? So for example, in my yoga lotties class, like sometimes she's telling us like how to breathe or how to do something and using like, you know, different organs and body parts. And I'm like, I mean, kind of need to look that up because it's kind of getting to me, but I understand the most part, you know, a lot of it's very same, similar as like yoga lotties or yoga classes you take in Canada, but there's sometimes where it's like different, like specific types of breathing and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know how to relax my blah, 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 because I don't know what that is. So anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.